Jeez, I think I turned the video off. The gate was open. I come in here and here's the pond. It was just a hawk that took off going across the pond. And uh, I looked at my camera and the damn thing wasn't on. <laughs> what the? Well, it's on now. So speak into it as you wish, the beezer guy. Oh. I couldn't believe I got, I went in with a chip. I spent 20 bucks. I always spent 20 bucks. Whether I spend 20 bucks for drinks or I spend 10 for drinks and give, ooh, I gave, uh, I gave Sarah 11 bucks today. So I buy a round of drinks. I get 20 bucks. I had a chip. I had two drinks because somebody bought me a drink. I had another drink. Somebody bought me a drink. Oh, I only had two. I had a, another. A, a, I had one drink with a chip. Somebody got me a drink. I had another chip. I got a drink. Somebody bought me a drink. Somebody bought me another drink. And I had a buck, a uh, little cup of cherries. Yeah, there. This stuff is what the. Joe seems to like the new stuff that they got, which is 100 proof. I think they're in bourbon. <laughs> yep, they are strong. And so I'm, I'm coming home with two chips. I had two. I got two more, or I got one more, two more. And I got them all my drinks today off of chips. I got four drinks today because I'm going home with two. And I got them all off of chips and I spent 20 bucks because I bought everybody else one and they in turn buy back. Now you guys get the routine, routine here? Gary goes into Ambats. If I have a chip, give me my free drink on that chip because that's what it is. If there are four or five guys at the bar, Ooh, here's a 20. Feed those guys another drink. And if I don't have any more money for another one for me, I will give you the remainder as a tip. But I had a remainder of 11 bucks with all those tick, those chips today. <laughs> and still brought two chips home. I think I got two at home already. Yeah. Gary, you are a... Alcoholic and a smoker too. And you should give it up in the name of repentance. Who? I don't know of anybody in the Bible like that. Who else named in the Bible? Anything named in the Bible, that's what you should be. So, anyway, <laughs> I'm going to where every fucking buddy else is going. Nowhere. You're dead, you're gone, you don't exist. You. Why do I talk about this every time? I don't know, I have a crux about death. And, yeah, you don't know nothing. You're gone. Whatever you think you knew right here, tomorrow when you don't wake up, that's it. Here. Ain't nothing to your concern, because you're not here anymore. About the sun. Uh -uh. All right, I'm going through the farm again. I don't need to talk about my life and my expectations of uh, kingdomhood. I own my own property. I must be the king of that. <clears throat> Let me go home and ask my wife if that's what she thinks. Honey, am, am I the king? Well, no, you're not, but I am the queen. All right, people working on a lot over here. Look at this. Remember last week when I came through here? This was all green. Now they just got what's down there. Oh, oh yeah, last week when I came through here, this was all green. And this was just starting to grow, which is what they're doing it now. It looks like they're already mowing it. I don't know what that was out there. I didn't look. We'll look at a video and see what it may be. Quit crawling. What's matter with you? Don't interrupt my video because I have my earbuds in anyway. 
So we're going through a uh, Pocoolis farm. I went through it one time, though, maybe a month ago. You're the owner? There's a couple of people around, two or three people around inside the, the farm area. Are you the owner, sir? Yes. Gate's open. Can I come through? Yes, you can. All right. That's all I needed to know. Are you the owner of the gate? Yes. <laughs> guy's making some bucks and they're already planted on this side over here. Look, it's already turning green. You know, winter grass, people. Whatever. Yeah, I don't have that lawn. What I should do is put a couple of bucks into my lawn. Uh, and... Alright, I'm going to shut the camera off and uh, just plain old metalize the uh, trip home. See my glasses? These are my, my good glasses. Yeah, I got them five years ago. Well, of course, my eyes have changed since then, but... <laughs> yeah, it's eh, still working off. I'm not the one to bother the doctor hood. I'm okay. I don't feel any aches and pains today. Oh, oh, I'll feel that, but I don't care. I don't care. I've had a little shock going down my arm into my oh, top, back of my palms, back of my hand, towards my last two fingers, and okay. I know people that will go down here in a heartbeat. They would have known about this three years ago, but I didn't. I don't care. Yep. Another person here, team. <laughs> And this is it. This is just the uh, back side of this farm. Look at this. They got this uh, heater cooler on the back of the house. Nice. Making the bread houses too. Heater cooler on the back of the house. Mr. Yeah, I can just spend money and do that. I have to up my air pressure in the box. I only got 100 amps. Yeah. 30 years ago when I probably could have changed over to 200 instead of, I was at 60. I was at 60 amps and I changed to 100, I think, or maybe even 200 and, wow. Why didn't I just do the 200? So now if I put in anything in the house, I'm gonna have to up my board. Yeah, the house needs some work. I bet you could go through that house and... Eighty? Seventy? Eighty thousand? I bet you could go do a good job on that house and fix a lot of things and make it look a lot better than it is. Fix the creaky floor. Redo the bathroom, which is totally bleh. <laughs> I think. <laughs> Dubs too high. Shower doesn't work right. A shower works right, but I think the hot water in my system, the house system is yucky. I got a water heater of 50 gallons off of my uh, furnace. And I can't run either or without the water coming out warm. <laughs> I have to run them both. Yeah, really. I can run the hot water tank and still get water, but eh, it's just not the same. <laughs> it's not. Oh, it's different kind of water. It's got a little bit of chemicals in it. And, no. Uh, yeah, it's different when I just run the water heater instead of the. I run the uh, furnace just summer. Wow, it didn't really burn that much oil. That's the reason. It didn't 
And for the months of August, July, June, when I usually turn it off in June, those three months, it was, I don't think the tank went below a half from just below three quarters. So in other words, a quarter of a tank, not even for three months. Wow, that's pretty good. So anyway, if I put in a system like that Mitsubishi on the side of the house with this tube, that tube's got a, the, the unit has to be in a certain spot on the house, and I don't know if that would be feasible or stupid. Yeah, I wouldn't want to put it right on the front of the house. But I don't know. I don't have a problem, but it's I don't have the money that I 70. I don't want to put money into it. <laughs> I'm 70. What if I got two, three, four, five, ten years more? I'll save nothing compared to what I've been spending for the last 50 years on a home. You heard me. So anyway. I'm too old for that shit. I'd like to. If I was in my 30s or 40s, I'd most definitely change into solar panels, uh, extra hot water, redo the home, throw another 100000 into all kinds of things on the house. And I still have cedar shakes on the side. <laughs> oh, they're not looking too bad either. I'm telling you, they're not looking too bad. Cedar shakes the uh oh rippled ones i don't know what you call them yeah 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 good enough paint on them they should be staying together pretty good yeah they split here and there but what do you want for 60 years <laughs> the house has been here for 60 years i painted it every couple of years when i've been in it and oh what the hell? All right, I'm gonna walk for a second, just because I feel like it. You know, you do stuff. Don't think about what you're doing and how you want to uh, do the rest of your time here in this place. Because, as usual on my uh, videos, I I don't think about anything but well. All right, never mind. So anyway, it's Friday, the 24th, 25th of uh, October, man. We're end of October. I have to go to get a, car get a card for my honey. Our, our 49th anniversary is on Halloween every year, 31st of October. No, we don't do anything. But we're gonna go to dinner this year again. We usually go to dinner. Oh, there was a couple of years there. Oh, I went to a, a sports pub up in Putnam. Sat by myself, had a vodka, filet, mash, with mashed potatoes and green beans, and another vodka when I was done. And that was my anniversary. Yeah, I did it by myself. What? You've been married for You've been married for 49 years? Yeah. Yeah. I know. Whatever. Well, let me put it this way. I'm having a good time in this part of my life being fucked up. Oh, don't get me wrong, people. Come on. What's wrong with being fucked up all the time? I mow lawns fucked up. Come on. Who cares? I got nobody to talk to except myself. I'm at that point in my life that, uh, I did something for somebody else for 60 years, and oh, how can I say it? It's my turn. It's my fucking turn. I'm going to do what the fuck I want. Well, I just didn't say fuck, but I, 
I am gonna do what the fuck I want. <laughs> so anyway, that's how I see it now. But I go home and I, hun, what'd you want? Did you say something? I don't want to rile you. I don't want to get on your under your skin. But did you tell me to do something? Did I miss it? Yeah, whatever. Boy, you guys are just listeners. Pretty good listeners, I should say. Oh, look out. Yeah, you guys are pretty good listeners. I should say that because you're not saying anything and you just keep listening. That's nice. A lot of times I don't get that. Or I don't get a full conversation. Today I kind of... Uh, <laughs> I let no Sarah know how I see things. And I see things as uh, articulate. I don't come out and, you know, I mean, well, I mean, it just happened to be that, you know, I mean, I don't use those fill-in words. I complete every sentence. Once in a while, I might throw them in there. But a lot of people in movies... Broadway, up and up, because they're in with the in crowd, they throw in those, I like, uh, you know, I mean, and a lot of people start off sentences with, I mean, what? Tell me what you want. Don't throw those extra words in. Evidently, a lot of these people aren't using I don't know, this thing keeps coming up on my YouTube page of uh, Don't Talk Like That, we'll shorten it. Glamour Pre or something like that, I don't know. That's how it is. People, shut up if all you can say is, well, you know, like, you know, I mean, it's, it's like, you know, I haven't, it's just like, you know, shut up. Should I stop for the bus? Oh, hell yeah. So anyway, I'm not a troublemaker. I just like doing what I like to do. Whether it's stupid or not, this is me. Yeah, what can I say? Must be the earphone. <laughs> it was something. It could have been that girl or something else. Ah, Jesus Christ, Gary. You want to finish your life out like this? Sure. <laughs> this was easy. That was easy. If you think about the way I've been through life and how I've been and what I've done for myself and others, man, you just played it cool. That's how I see it. You just played it cool. Didn't overexert yourself, but got somewhere. Lost a job because you opened your mouth. Didn't overexert myself, got another job. Stayed there. Got away from a job for something else, and yeah, got through that. And now I'm a retired, and oh, bastard. I'm glad I worked for 50 years. I enjoy in this retired mint stuff. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. <laughs> yeah, I know. Gary, you are one fucking cool 70 year old don't you ever think that you are the the worst guy in the, the uh what is it blueberry lane no brooklyn you're a good guy look at this i didn't do anything for this lawn except joe <laughs> what's that over here Oh, no, I, I, every once in a while I walk up. Just for the hell of it. Oh, yeah? it, it just for the hell of it. Uh, 
No, I usually ride up every hill. Uh, I didn't get this because, holy shit, that's heavy as fuck. Yeah, I'm going to have to blow it out. Yeah, that's what I was going to do. I didn't come yeah. back. I didn't have anything except my mower, but yeah. cleaned out most of it all right. But yeah, when it got yeah. down to the size, it was way yeah, heavy. Yeah, there's a lot that come out of yeah. it. A lot more leaves than I did the first week when yeah. I said I could take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> you all settled down there at the uh, Frog Rock? Or? No, I got the guy that came up. He condemned the building. They're okay. going to give me money for the whole thing. Whoa. So he said. That, yeah. Uh, well, you get full coverage on it. I'm taking pictures of all the antiques that got damaged. Okay. And i got to send that to him. Yep. So. Well, your insurance takes care of that, too. Which well, there was 5,000 contents. Oh, okay. So, well, Probably get it close to it. Yeah. yeah. Probably rattled the place for a little while oh, before it, it stood it, off it to the edge. It over. Yeah. It jacked it over. Everything came off the walls. It, it and now, what's when the when the tree hit the yeah. damn thing? Put a hole in it, just boom, everything, oh, everything gone. Everything went flying. Yeah. 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 Oh. <laughs> well, you'll be there next year. Good for you. Yeah. Whatever. We'll, we'll Good get it for done. you. You need to retire now. Yeah. Yeah. I just bought this. Oh, no, no gray one now? Or? Oh, it's right there. Oh, what'd you get rid of? You didn't. We're going to get rid of that. Volvo. Okay, now uh, Lisa drives a Volvo, or is no, that... No, she's got a, what is it, Mazda. Okay, SUV. gray, gray, yeah. Yeah, grayish color. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get rid of the Volvo. Take the plates off of that. Put it on there. Yeah. Then I'll, let, I'll drive this into the ground until it dies, the gray one it's had it. So. How many miles you got on that? 250. Ooh. It's on its, it's on its last leg. It's all beat up. It's People all. down the street from me had two Rams, 200 and some miles on each one of them. And I went, oh, okay, uh, yeah. working a little here and there on them and yeah. stuff. But the problem with this is you, you keep throwing money into it because you got to, you know. I don't think I ever went over 100,000 miles in no. any of my vehicles. You know, and when you had them, that's all they would go. Yeah, you know, yeah, nowadays, yeah, there you go. You know, nowadays, 200 is nothing, yeah. really. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's when the 100,000 is when you give it a checkup. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, a lot of them were guaranteed for $100,000. Yeah, that's right. Oh, with protection. Cool. Yeah. Oh, so you bought it with a dent in it? Is that a yeah, dent in it? It, it's used. Oh, okay. I bought it off a of lawn. Off oh. Ellen, Ellen Hill, guy on Ellen Hill had it. Yeah. Boy, now that you mention it, I probably went by it two yeah, or three it's right times. Up, right over on the right hand side up there. Oh, okay. Oh, excellent. Yeah, they, they kept dropping the price. Finally, I said, I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Good. Yeah, it'll get me through. Till I'm completely gone now. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> this oh, well, well, yeah. If, when this one goes, I got to do is get rid Another of it. Another five years, you know what I mean? Yeah. This, this will last five, six years. Yeah, yeah. good. So but you're going to be hauling back and forth. Yeah, because you're all done. But we got to give yourself another year or so anyway. Yeah, I'll paint for a little bit. Okay. Well, I'm doing Steve Barry's work. I'm doing a brand new house they're doing on South Street. Right? So that's where I was. Oh, well, off to the, if you're going towards the golf course, off to the left hand side? No, go past the golf course on the right. It's a long dirt driveway that goes out oh. to the river. Oh, okay, okay. I haven't been down there. Yeah. I've been on the ones, Davis Road, something that goes down. Oh, it's yeah. got a yeah, trail that goes yeah. into the river, but yeah, that's it. Yeah, these are probably down. Okay. Yeah. yeah, he's going crazy. A few more foundations they put in. Oh. I just, I just finished two for him. I got one more we're working on. Do you know, just like the back in the 50s, oh, like 60s, the 70s, and 70s they were putting in all yeah. of these houses in here. Back then they were the Theroux's and uh, other, or Williams was doing a couple yeah. of houses and yeah. now it's yeah, this, different. It's 50 thing. years later too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Still growing. Nice neighborhood, Joe. Yeah. I like the neighborhood. Nice and quiet. A couple of people going up and down, but that's yeah. nothing. I like the dead end because yeah. I know who, yeah. you know, every time you see a car, you know, you know who it is, you know? yep. and if you don't know, then you look at and it. And ten know? years ago, we moved our our TV room from the back of the house to the front room, the bigger house, double the size. And here comes somebody. Here comes, yeah. Or Sharon's desk is in the front window for the oh, computer, yeah. so and she see, sees everybody yeah, coming everybody in, and I see everybody yeah. going by. Yeah, because you know what to do that. You, you yeah. know who who should be coming yeah, down. There. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's what I like about the neighborhood. <laughs> it's quiet. Nothing happens up here. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I don't know much longer she's going to stay. Uh, I don't know about you, but on Blueberry Lane, I've seen a couple of women with dogs and kids going up and down. Well, yeah, now, and even down this road over here. Yeah, Grand View, Grand, Grand, Grand View. Yeah, yeah there's, there's a younger generation coming in. Yeah. But, but what's his name? Uh, oh, here, good he's generation. He's in his 90s. Grenier, yeah, he's yeah. in his 90s. Oh, yeah. 
uh, it was the girl in the yellow greenhouse moving out. Yep, yep. Uh, Ellie Decker died. Oh, did she? Oh, okay, geez, I didn't three, know Three, four that. months ago. Oh, really? I didn't. Yeah, she died. Yeah. Uh, uh, the guy that I mow, uh, there's two homes, uh, Resident Kaywood. Yep, yep. And right next door to him, I mow his lawn. He's 95. Wow. Got a couple wow. of problems, but he's 95. Wow. And uh, so I'm figuring I'm going to lose three, three lawns this year in anyway. What about next the blue house over here? Does he do his own? He kind of walks with a walker and stuff. Yes, he does. Jesus. Yeah, he's right on the corner of the yeah, four corners. Yeah. Yes, he does. Yeah, that's what I thought. Well, he says he <laughs> gets himself one sitting on the mower and he yeah, just goes yeah. around with the oh, mower. Yeah. Doesn't trim, don't do nothing else, but yeah. he just sits on that mower. Yeah, he walks every once in a while. Yes. Come away down he here does with a walker. Walk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know something. Pretty good soon I'll him. be doing that. Good for him, though. <laughs> 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 with a paintbrush in your hand. <laughs> All right, Joe. Enjoy. He's a painter. <laughs> Just like me. I've worked with paper for since 1973. 73 at International Paper, making corrugated boxes. And then I went to Worcester Envelope, which printed envelopes. And I had a oh, paper money collection, and I also had stamp collection, which I have to get rid of. It's been sitting on the floor in front of my desk. How am I going to get rid of it? So anyway, I guess 15, 20 years I did stamps. I still have some stamps left over there. I just need to get rid of them. I'm not into it at all anymore, and... So what am I going to sell? Take pictures of it and sell it. So that's what I did. Everything has been paper in my life. And metal. That's right. Metal. Oh, I did it. 12 miles today. Hi, nice, Steve. Did her lawn the other day, it's the same as that one. Move some leaves around, crunch some leaves. I think the first thing I need to do is whenever I do a lawn is just mulch it. After I'm done mulching it, go around here, there, hither by nither and pick it up. That would take care of all the leaves. No questions asked, all the leaves would be taken up because they'd be broken down into almost nothing. And then, oh, Jesus Christ, the damn things would come right up and uh, vacuum it. All right. You know, I'm, I need a new bag. I need a new bag. I'm cheap about everything, but, boy, I can go to Ambet to spend 20 bucks on the bar. <laughs> I know, Gary. What's wrong with you? I know. All I like to do is get fucked up. All I like to do is get fucked up. Did you hear that? All I like to do is get fucked up. I'm sorry. Did I say something wrong here? Yeah. And mow lawns. <laughs> they need pizza. Oh, I got pizza left over. Did I say pizza leftover or leftover pizza? Pizza leftover, okay. As long as I know I got pizza. Leftover pizza. Ooh. Oh, 
Hasta la vista, baby. Oh, I still got ice cream. I still got Italian ice. I still got four slices of pizza left. Oh, baby. Could be good. And I got indigestion already, too, so. I'll just go in for a second. Let's take a pile of sec. <laughs> oh, then a slice of pizza. <laughs> I don't have much time left. I want to make sure I get it all. Yeah, the stupid stuff. <laughs> ah, baby. Look at that. Yeah, I took this out of the uh, sunlight. And now the battery's operated enough where... Oh, see, it shuts off. Got that? 